minute she said it in class, it sounded so nasty, it sounded so crass. The children stared, the teacher scowled, the custodian cried, the principal howled. Then poor little Patty, my very best friend, she opened her mouth and said it again. Bad words, bad words. We all began to chant, never, never, never say the words, I can't. My teacher, she's fine and nanny, but I really love my chocolate candy. When it's hot, when it's cold, and when it's fresh. And I eat it when it's old. I eat it by the ounce, and I eat it by the pound, and I eat it at the table, and I eat it off the ground. I eat it, and eat it, my belly's going to pop, then I eat a little more. I don't know how to stop. I love that chocolate taste of some gooey sweet in it, but I've eaten way too much, and I feel a little sick. I've got to learn to stop. I have got to take a shrimp. I'll give chocolate up forever when I'm 99 years old. There's a goblin in my throat, and he's such a nasty goat. He always wants his way with the words I try to say. If I try to say clown, he changes it into frown. If I try to say daisy, he changes it into lazy. If I try to say wink, he changes it into sink. It's very hard to be nice with the goblin in your throat. But I still love hate, because my life's so beautiful, ugly, and you're sweet as sugar salt. You see these terrible things I say are really not my fault. It's the second worst thing that could possibly be. It could only be worse if the fly swallowed me. Giants don't have to be real big. Giants don't have to be tall. 
What makes them want to giant is not their size at all. And even when we giants get scared, we always do our best. We learn from our mistakes and forget about the rest. Life is like a play. We all play giant parts. And the biggest giants are the little players who play with giant hearts. got the power from Go Wars. Last year I thought I had it made, but now I'm just a bit afraid. The biggest step I could ever took, I'm going to read a chapter book. But now the problem is plain to see it. I need a book just right for me. It's sitting somewhere in the shelf. I'm going to have to find it all the time. Here's one about the capital of Here's one about the avalanche. Here's one about, about the mad bean. Here's one about the evil queen. I've searched this bookshelf through and through, and here it and here it is. It is can it be true? The dragon book can find this. This book is going to be a feast. Yes, and I really got it made, and I'm not a bit of it. I've got the power. Yesterday, I found the perfect book for me. Somehow I've got to take over control. I was gone three days. Mom thought I was lost, but it took me that long to show him who's boss. I can't believe I was so afraid, afraid that I might fail. But now I'm wondering, yes I do, do you think I could saddle a little? Giant songs with giant hips and boogie dance with giant hips. Giant shoes and giant feet and giant giggles when they meet. I watch them hour after hour. Giant kids with giant power. I'm just a class of hamsters, but I promise you, it's true. This is a school with giant children with giants go in the giant kitchen. his teddy bear. He whispers oh so soft and low, teddy bear, I love you so. He knows it's just a little strange, but I don't think he'll ever change. I have one more thing to add. I wrote this poem about my dad. Everything I wanted, my fantasy, my 
goal. So I tried out for this play and I got the leading role. I learned my lines, I practiced. I came so very far. I dreamed about this moment. I was going to be a star. So here I am on stage and the play's about to start. My life is so much simpler than before I got this part. Stinky boys at school. possible if that if if he hits the ball it's the end of all that means the end of me I heard a shout strike three you're out his face was filled with cheers but a little light on batter eyes filled up with alien tears my dreams are strange but last night's dream was the strangest dream of all earth was saved by an alien who couldn't hit the ball
we studied Hawaii in the 15th state, we were, so, we were all so excited, we just couldn't wait. And then our teacher walked into the class wearing a skirt that was made out of grass. What if a cow, I began to suppose, came into the room and ate all our clothes. But I'm not a cow, I'm a kid named Eddie. So you're safe, Mrs. Jones, just don't wear spaghetti.